Imagine for a moment that Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton become the presidential nominees for the 2016 election. And Americans all across the country are getting ready to finally watch the much anticipated debate between Trump and Hillary. No doubt there would be a captive audience nationwide. I mean, the ratings would be phenomenal. And it would promise to be a true blue spectacle, a debate like no other ever before seen in American politics. But guess what? It's not going to happen. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, Hillary supporters, they say that she's ready and she's not afraid to get in the ring with anybody because by now, well, they say, you know, she's seen it all. Hillary Clinton's been tried and tested against all the attacks that can be thrown at her. So she's ready to take on anyone, especially Donald Trump in a nationwide presidential debate on live TV. And they have no doubt in their minds that Hillary would dominate Trump anywhere, anytime. Well, at least that's what they'd like you to believe. But in reality, a Trump Hillary matchup would be a total disaster, not only for Hillary Clinton, but for the entire establishment. And that's why I don't think we will ever see a debate between them. I, I hope I'm wrong, but I just don't think the global elites and the private banking cartels are going to let it happen. And here's why. Donald Trump will expose her for the fraud that she is. And he will also reveal to the nation that apparently her husband, former President Bill Clinton, is a serial rapist. And Hillary, as his wife, the former First Lady and Secretary of State, has worked behind the scenes to silence the victims. The notion that Hillary has somehow been an advocate for women, no, Bill rapes them physically and then Hillary rapes them psychologically. And for those of you out there who think that this is impossible, that this is just another crazy conspiracy theory, well, let me ask you this. What did you think when you first found out about the Bill Cosby rape allegations? Were you surprised? Mr. Huxtable? And what about O.J. Simpson when he killed his wife? The nation was in total shock. I mean, nobody saw that coming. And personally, as a child, I mean, O.J. was one of my childhood heroes. I watched him play football, I had his posters, I had his football cards, I, you know, I watched his movies. He was the all-American hero, but I'm not in denial. I've seen the evidence, and there's no doubt in my mind that OJ is a cold-blooded killer. And I think when more and more people see the evidence that's already out there, you will discover the truth behind Bill and Hillary Clinton, because apparently, I mean, she's just as guilty as he is, Bill is the rapist, and Hillary is the enforcer. He starts to uh, ride on my top lip, and I try to pull away from him. And then he forces me down on the bed. And I just was very frightened. And I tried to get away from him, and I told him no. I didn't want this to happen. Hillary's the one in charge of the cover-ups. And they say she even created a who's next task force. And this goes all the way back to when Bill was the governor of Arkansas because it was apparent to them by that time that he couldn't be stopped. And that this was going to keep occurring and this was going to happen over and over again and sure enough it surely did because many many other victims were to follow including women that he sexually assaulted right there in the oval office and this goes way beyond monica Lewinsky. no this goes beyond that these women said no but they were allegedly assaulted sometimes brutally by bill clinton who had according to the allegations force himself upon them, and if they were too loud screaming for help or if they managed to get away from his grasp or his trademark lip biting, he would pleasure himself in front of them until he was pervertly satisfied. That's the allegations, for starters.
Believe it or not, that's only the tip of the iceberg. I mean, it gets crazier the more you look into it. And I'll probably do a much more extensive report on this in the future. But for now, I hope I at least pique your interest and convince you that it's worth, trust me, ladies and gentlemen, it is worth looking into. And if you don't believe it, then go out there and investigate it for yourself and prove these women wrong. Now, one thing's for sure, the Clinton rape allegations, it's a total forbidden subject on the mainstream media. And especially now during the presidential campaign. And if anybody brings it up, they will be cut off and more than likely not ever be invited back on the show again. Bringing up Clinton's women who say they were intimidated by Hillary, having them come forward and speak a litany of, of issues that I'm you can't that even imagine. I'm thinking that might be a winning argument for Donald Trump right at this moment. That isn't. That woman now says Hillary ruined my life. What's what? Okay. What's I'm gonna that's not I'm gonna fair. Leave it there. No, no. Thanks. God guys. forbid I'm that I should. There. <laughs> I'm God leave forbid it there. that I should defend See, Hillary Clinton. Justin but she was appointed Phillips. to represent somebody, so she's got to right. do her job. I'm gonna leave it and there. That was 40 Goodbye. Years ago. Thanks for joining me. But sometimes when a talking head on television isn't there to regulate the conversation, like during a live debate or in this case during a town hall meeting, well, Hillary Clinton is left defenseless. Say that all rape victims should be believed, but would you say that about Johnny to Broderick, Kathleen Wiley, and or Paula Jones? Should we believe them as well? Well, I would say that everybody should be believed at first until they are disbelieved based on evidence. Okay, let me see. They're right back there, this man right there, in the, the, here we go, right there. You are very rude, and I'm not going to ever call on you. Thank you. Thank you. Why does this issue matter to you? Because I'm a rape survivor myself. You see, this is what Hillary Clinton and the establishment are afraid of. Donald Trump doesn't play by the same rules. I mean, he is truly an anti-establishment candidate. And during a live debate, Trump will... He will more than likely bring up this forbidden topic and embarrass the Clintons because it's obvious by now that no one else in the Republican Party has the stomach or the huevos to make this the issue it deserves to be. The establishment media and the Clintons, they've spent decades covering all of this up. And I'm sure that they're going to do everything they can to prevent Donald Trump from becoming the Republican nominee. And I think we all need to pray for Donald Trump right now. I think he is in real danger. And it's well known that the enemies of the Clintons, well, they have a bad habit of, of getting involved in mysterious fatal accidents, just like those brave individuals who've gone up against the establishment over the years, who have been suddenly and dramatically silenced. And I hope and I pray that this never happens. But I wouldn't be surprised if Donald Trump's last words were, my thanks, thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. Thank you.